This is the world's biggest idli dosa batter factory in Anekal, Karnataka. It is spread across 80,000 square feet. It means it is as big as a football ground. This huge factory belongs to this man, PC Mustafa, who is the founder of ID Fresh Food. Founded in 2005, the capital of just 50,000 rupees. Today, ID Fresh Food's valuation, as per a report, is approximately 2,000 crore rupees. No doubt, ID Fresh Food is successful. But do you know what makes the success of this company even more sweeter? It's the journey of PC Mustafa. A coolie's son who didn't have an easy childhood. He once didn't have money for his education. And today he runs a 2000 crore valuation company, ID Fresh Food. Easy Mustafa hails from a remote village in Vahinat, Kerala. His father was a coolie at a coffee plantation. His mother never went to school. Mustafa failed in class 6, but with the help of his maths teacher, he got his focus back and went on to study engineering at the National Institute of Technology. For education, there was always lack of funds, but Mustafa's passion for education helped him go on. He got his first job in Bangalore via college placement. Soon, he joined Motorola in Ireland and then Citibank in Dubai. With the help of these jobs, he could repay his loans. As per his interview given to Rediff.com, the first thing Mustafa did after he paid off his loan was to send rupees 1 lakh in cash to his father through a friend. He was told that his father cried seeing so much cash in a bag sent by his son. Mustafa soon came back to India and pursued management from IIM Bangalore. While studying management, he always wanted to start a business of his own and used to regularly discuss business ideas with his cousins. And one day in 2005, Mustafa and his cousins came across a business idea and that was the Eureka movement. Shamsuddin, one of his cousins, suggested selling the idli dosa batter as he had seen ready-made idli dosa batter been sold in unhygienic plastic covers sealed with rubber bands. Mustafa and his four cousins liked the idea as they thought the business had the potential. Mustafa invested 50,000 rupees but soon they realized it takes more than just an idea to run a successful business. With the initial investment of 50,000 rupees, Mustafa and his four cousins rented a 50 square feet kitchen with a grinder, mixer, weighing machine, sealing machine and a second hand scooter. They started making the idli dosa batter and delivering it to the neighborhood store. They were also selling return products at a lower price to B2B until their retail sales went up. The hard work and consistent efforts paid off. By the ninth month, they were able to sell an average of 100 packets of batter daily. The business of selling idli dosa batter had picked up and ID Fresh Food was expanding. But as we say, failure is a part of success. Mustafa and his team too faced failures. By 2009, ID decided to expand to Chennai as it was a huge market for idli dosa batter. They invested all their profit in the Chennai plant but soon they realized that competition was fierce. To grow their business, they had to compromise on quality which was against their company policy. ID's policy was of adopting only 100% natural, homemade style of preparation without the use of any chemicals, preservatives, synthetic stabilizers or artificial colors. ID took an exit from Chennai with a loss of 10 lakh rupees. Similarly, the company had to struggle and face severe losses in the initial eight years. There were times when ID could not afford to pay its employees. To retain employees, they gave them company shares and promised the 25 employees that they will be crorepatis one day. And let me tell you, today all of the 25 employees have become crorepatis. Now just like in TV show Shark Tank, entrepreneurs and their business find a new lease of life when an investor comes on board. Similar things happened with ID. After struggling for eight years, the company's fortune changed overnight and ID found investors. Due to funding from investors, ID got the right help that it needed. Soon they expanded to Indian cities like Mumbai. Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Mangaluru and Bangalore of course. In 2013, they started their operations in Dubai and soon re-entered Chennai as a Parota company. By 2015, ID Fresh Food became a 100 crore revenue making company. But reaching a 100 crore milestone was not the end for PC Mustafa and his cousins. They raised more funds from investors like Premji Invest owned by Azim Premji and others. Today, they retail to more than 30,000 offline outlets in India, UAE and USA. And as they expanded, they came with more and more fresh products which were an instant hit among the customers. Today, the inspiring and successful story of PC Mustafa has become popular worldwide. In 2018, PC Mustafa was invited to Howard Kennedy School to share his story, and his story has been included in their syllabus as well. From starting in a room of 50 square feet to operating in multiple international cities with huge plans, ID Fresh Food has come a long way. After reaching high valuation of 2000 crore rupees, company now wants to operate in countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and Kuwait. A son of a coolie for whom a three time meal was a luxury is now selling lakhs and lakhs of batter to crores of people. People. Time changes, doesn't it? Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. And for more such stories, please subscribe to our channel. Till then, keep on watching.